lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. Now I have failed you, I have failed you for this Whiskey Rambling because at first I wanted to do this at the Valley of the Butterflies but that was in my opinion too dark. Then I took it to the Seven Springs but the waterfall over there made too much noise. So I had to make do with Paronisi, the southernmost uh, corner of uh, Rhodes but there the wind was howling and the sea had actually crossed the inlet making Paronisi literally unavailable for us. So we drove back inland and here we are now at the beautiful remains of an old medieval castle called Asclepio. And here I will finally be able to present to you this whiskey. It's another release by Asta Morris, but this time around it is a Glen Keith 1994. Now when I found out that Asta Morris was releasing a new Glen Keith 24 years old, I was already wringing my hands in anticipation because the previous release while wow, only 42 bottles were sold through a Dutch retailer and they were gone in a flash. I had to make do with the sample. But this time around, I was in time to get one of these 179 bottles for uh, uh, the uh, vaults and for this whiskey rambling. So, a Glen Keith, 24 years old. And it is in fact, uh, let me check. It is an ex-bourbon cask, but this is bottled at 51%. Now, the 51% is not cask strength. This is actually a strength that uh, Bert Brunel, the owner of Astamoris, decided upon. He tries his casks and he dilutes them and when he finds the strength that he is looking for, that's the one he will bottle it on. So here we have a uh, Glen Keith bottled at 51%. Careful now, because it's a tiny bit windy up here and I do not want my bottle to clash on the rocks here, now do I? Right. Despite the fact that it's a bourbon cask after 24 years, we do have a beautiful, full golden color. Glen Keith, 24 years old, 1994, for Aston Morris at 51% on the nose. Well, it's very creamy and fruity. I get banana and apricots, coconut, apples in a frying pan, sprinkled with a bit of cinnamon some mint and even some sage, some tobacco leaves and milk chocolate, some honey and some chamomile tea. This is very aromatic and round, beautiful on the palate. Mm. Sweet and spicy. I get nutmeg and cloves, I get cinnamon, I even get some chili pepper. Oh, this is powerful. Oh yeah, but then I get some dark honey before even darker fruit. I get some overripe bananas, some fresh fig, some blood oranges. I get some pink grapefruit, some candy ginger and coconut. This is very nice. It's beautiful, lovely, very round, very broad in its taste. Why? I'm going to finish then. finishes long with just a tad of bitterness at the death. Well this is a very, how shall I put this, this is a, a complete whiskey if you know what I mean. Very round, it's got everything, it's got a bite, it's got creaminess, it's got waxiness, beautiful fruitiness, a very complete whiskey indeed and bottled at quite a good strength. So boy, oh and I just noticed that this is this is my 25th Glen Keith I try, or maybe I should say only my 25th Glen Keith that I try, but this certainly is up there with the best of the best. This is around 180 euros and only 179 bottles of this are available. So if you want to get in touch with uh, your Glen Keith side, this is one for you. The Glen Keith 24 years old, 94 from Asta Morris, a beautiful and complete whiskey. And that's all for this Whiskey Rambling, and I hope to see it one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. And until then, may the mob be with you. Bye-bye.